We're going to Buckfastley Abbey today. Gonna go and see a few monks. This is Buckfastley Abbey, sending a photo to Lucy. <laughs> the bells are going. Quasi's off. The bells. Quick! <laughs> it's nice that they've seen us and they're ringing the bells for us. <laughs> you just need to know how to get in. Yeah, we don't know the way in. All right, here we go. Quasi's really going for it up there. I'd imagine if you had that going on all the time and you lived here, drive you nuts. It's very loud. If you look really closely, there's a monk down there with his hat on. Well, they've got a museum here. Sorry, no, it's a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they've got the tune wrong. But I think they've let go. Do you think we can go in? Oh, God opens the doors for you. And it's automatic doors. This is absolutely beautiful. The stone, the quality of the stone is amazing. It's absolutely huge. In here, the sound of the bells is really funny. They've, they sort of merge together, so you just get a chord. You don't hear the individual clangs. Everything in here looks so pristine and clean. Even the organ pipes up there are really shiny and clean. It's beautiful. Everything's so beautifully kept. This is the back of the organ. They've panelled it in. Right to the ceiling. Oh, look at that. That's the... That's what I heard. Oh, yeah. that is beautiful. Yeah. The mirror is actually looking up there at that ceiling. It's absolutely beautiful. It's gold, it's got to be gold. <laughs> Someone waving at me. Do you think we should get married? <laughs> that chandelier is massive up there. And there's the altar. I never realised just how big this place is, but there are lots of little side bits off to the right there, where the uh, the man is sitting on the pedestal is looking. It's absolutely beautiful. It's, uh, I bet a monk's died and they've planted, yeah, it's 100 years old. 100 years old, has a lifespan of, of 120 years. Cool. Yeah. So they've had to uh, yeah. change the soil here and yeah. dig it up and loosen it for the tree, yeah. or else it would probably die. Apparently that's a Monterey pine, mm -hmm. or Pinus radiata. <laughs> Sorry, I think it's Pinus, not Pinus. This is a lavender garden. So the garden is right in front of the abbey itself. Makes a lovely setting. I think we need to get off the pavement and start walking on the grass. Bont's hearing rivers. <laughs> it might be the river of life. Oh, there's the water and this is the sensory garden. Wonder what we've got to touch. It's a nice idea for a pond. So this one's a physics garden, whatever that is. It certainly smells nice. 
There's peaches, plums, even a fig. Oh, we're going to the carvery. A good bit now. That bit over there is for young people. That's where the older people go. So there's a roast dinner. And we're on the high tables. We've got the young people's place and all the old fogies, they're all over there. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I bet people come here. They just come here. Yeah, the Sunday. Yeah, Sunday lunch. Most of what they serve here is locally sourced, so everything comes from this area or the, the monk's garden. Um, there was only one thing they had on the counter there that wasn't sourced here because it can't be sourced here because it needed hot weather. I can't remember what it was, but only one thing on the menu. Uh, coffee. That's a really nice carvery. We're partaking of the holy water. The grounds outside here are really extensive. That might be a studio over there where they record Gregorian chant because they sing it in the abbey itself all the time. There's some stuff going on this afternoon actually. That tree in front of the abbey is a beautiful tree, the one where they had to change the, the soil underneath and soften it because it was impacted by visitors. So they dug it up, uh, dug up the soil and then put uh, rich soil down to soften it for the tree. Bont's going to look in the window of the bookshop but go in the monastic shop. Maybe she's converted. Right, monastic shop it is. I don't know what a monastic shop is. There you are, the monks and choristers of Buckfast Abbey. Probably recorded in that building we were looking at. It's all religious stuff. That's why it's called monastic. Get a fat in the bank card. Rosary beans for every kind of confessor. I think Mum's really in for this. An angel for the garden. That's more like it. <laughs> really nice, but naughty, and even more. See, so although the, the abbey was built in the early 1900s, this is a very old section here, and I reckon it's the remains of the original abbey. See, this has got small windows like the old abbeys and churches had, and there are parts, I think, that are bricked up as well. So there's a lot of brickwork that's been covered or shut in. Yeah, you can see that this bit is actually new because the old bit looks a bit rougher. That's the old bit, I think. So um, you can see there is a difference. So they have been doing things, I think, to the original abbey. And um, that's just a new section bolted on. This is actually old. Yeah, yeah. So what happened to the old abbey? Well, if, if I bought the book. Well, do you want to buy the book then? <laughs> can we find it before we go? Yeah, find out what happened to the, the old shop. abbey? Yeah, we'll go to the gift shop. Yeah, All right. probably map it out. I, I wonder if this is, bit, this is a bit of it. It definitely is something. Because they've what this building here on the yeah. left, yeah. So that looks like that looks like a big arch, probably for horses and carriages. Yeah, yeah. And then there's a door underneath. Yeah. So it was probably a massive door yes. with a with an ordinary door yeah. cut into it. So there you go, Buckfast Abbey, 1018 to 2018. Although it's 2023 20, now, but there was an old abbey there must have been replaced at the beginning of the 1900s. Bloke didn't tell us in the Abbey. Jesus is opening doors for us again. Down the back there is all the, the drink that they make. And apparently that supports the Abbey. What is that? Is that Trappist, Trappist beer? La Trappe. No. Do you see how much it is? For one bottle? It's only beer, isn't it? There's a bit of Gregorius up there. What's that? Is that soapstone again? It's not actually. Oh. This is a bit of paper mache. Oh, what is it? It's a heart paper mache, but I prefer the soapstone. Oh yeah, the soapstone's nicer. Oh, no. What, this is the wine they actually yeah, 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 make yeah, here? Yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Ooh, it's made by monks. There's monks to take home here. Ooh. I feel very cleansed now because we've been to church. <laughs> I had to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> this area looks more like the old abbey. So it certainly looks old, the old door there and everything. In actual fact, next to the abbey, that part looks much older. The part on the right looks really much older than the part on the left. So we know the part on the left is early 1900s. So uh, that other bit next to it, again, might be the remnants of the original. Don't know. Bont's up there having a good look around. There's a little river down there. Wonder if that's the water supply for the monks. Well, that's the ruins of something over there. And down the back there, it's, um, it's all coming down, isn't it? But the main building is still up, so I wonder what that's used for. Blimey, they look a bit spooky. An abbey in glass. That's a trough up there, and it takes water over to that wheel, which then turfs it down into the river. And there it is.